feeling pretty ungrounded, actually, and not having a country to call home. I've literally lived in a suitcase for almost two years. Two years in May. We made it to Alguna! If you don't got it all figured out right now, neither do I, and that's okay, okay? Everything will reveal itself in time. It's a beautiful, beautiful windy day here in Cairo. If you're watching the vlog right now, I'm sending you so much love and peace and appreciation and reminding you that if you don't got it all figured out right now, neither do I, and that's okay, okay? Everything will reveal itself in time. So find peace in the present moment, baby. Yes, Egypt. Headed to Alguna today, which is like a cool man-made developed Luke's wearing Sabrina's sunglasses. Very cool dude today. Uh, we're going to Alguna, which is a man-made, developed um, lagoon area where the Ubers are all tuk-tuks. Great, delicious food. It's like a beach community. And it's going to be a great time with friends. Yay.
look at this one. beautiful friends I am here in Alguna Egypt staying at a friend's place this is my view from bed right now I just did a meeting <laughs> I'm just like in awe of this paradise and this sunset I've got a meeting with my life coach Meredith and then I'm going to be meeting with Tyler but it's weird I'm doing Monday meetings and it's 5:50. So it's the evening for my West Coasters, which is kind of funny and weird to get used to. But yeah, I haven't really talked to the camera very much lately. I've just been so busy doing things. Like I went from having like a month and a half in Canada of just chilling, like baths every day, just re-upping my energy. And it was so important for me to also feel like I was... Um, like integrating everything I've learned and done in the last couple of years and having some peace and time with animals. And then now I'm here and there's something new every night and dinners and seeing people and it's been such a blessing. So thank you guys for watching my videos still and uh, just being there while I transition. Like I can feel like this release of my past and this entry of my new and I'm just at this crux of 
my new beginning. This YouTube has been such a great safe place for me to get in the flow of making content again, get in the flow of sharing my life again, just practice being creative and, and talking to the camera again. Hey, but I can feel that there's like a, a something getting distilled in me soon, some sort of program and content i think it's going to be daily hour-long live streams and mixed in with content from my life sharing all the things that i love and that i'm learning the books i'm reading the music i'm listening to that sort of thing also all the learning that i'm doing too i've been a little bit hesitant to teach everything i've learned about cryptocurrency and nfts and investing because i had this attitude of like who am i to teach this stuff, but I've learned a lot. I've read a lot. I've experienced a lot. I've now had enough time in the space, learning and trading and experiencing to feel comfortable and safe to talk about these things. Like I need time to first analyze and then participate, learn and then share. And so that's coming out of me soon and I can't wait to share it with you guys. So look forward to that. Then in the meantime, you know, I've been hosting Luke here uh, he leaves on Sunday, he extended his trip. It's just all about finding your flow while you're traveling and getting done what needs to get done. Ah, just deep surrender to the whole thing. Like, it's just such a beautiful life here, guys. Like, I am in love with Elguna. I am so excited. I want to go explore Luxor, which is a bunch of temples and a city on the Nile. And Aswan, Aswan, I think, is an area north of Luxor that I want to take a little Nile boat to. So I'm working to plan that. And then there's a birthday this weekend. So you guys will come along for that. And then I might be going to Saudi or Dubai to go to the F1 with Blair. We'll see if that happens. And then other than that, I might be going to Bali. Like Yuri is just with a rover, my cat's with my parents. And it's like, I'm going to do a trip around the world and find myself and then find a home somewhere and start building content. I'm feeling pretty ungrounded, actually, not having a country to call home. Like my 01 just expired. And so until I renew that, like I can't live in the United States and earn income, although I, have, I'm, I wouldn't work there right now. And I can't go live in Canada because I got rid of my residency. So I've just been like looking for homes everywhere else until I know where I want to live, which is a weird feeling. Like there's no country that I belong to currently. And maybe I can make a whole video on that because I've literally lived in a suitcase for almost two years. Two years in May, I've been living out of a suitcase and that's a trip. Yep, I've learned a lot. Like I've become like a whole new woman. It's kind of crazy. I've got five minutes before my life coaching i haven't talked to her in a few weeks we put things on pause obviously the time change makes things difficult and i've been blessed just to have like dinners and events every night but the funny thing is is like by the time i find the flow here i move and then i find the flow somewhere else and then i move so i think one day i'll just be in flow constantly well working in egypt this is office yeah. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Ooh, we got a little dance at the end yeah.